if you look at the early days of big data, it was normally talked about in terms of uh, volume, variety, velocity, right? There was the three V's framework of big data. And that's a very technical way of looking at the world, right? Which is there's gonna be a lot of data, so that's volume. There are gonna be lots of different types of data, that's variety. And it's all gonna come really fast, so that's velocity, right? But the, the, what's kind of an emerging consensus now is that those three V's matter, but what really matters is value, right? That's the fourth B, V that nobody, nobody mentioned. And value comes from a good understanding of what business problem you're trying to solve. And if you have a good understanding of what business problem you're trying to solve, then you can work back from that towards what data do I really need versus what's nice to have, right? What level of data cleanliness do I really need versus what's nice to have? When you do these things as technical projects, which is what a lot of BI systems were built off of, there was kind of an, almost an overinvestment in trying to solve basic nitty gritty problems. Whereas when you come back from a, hey, I just need to be right 60, 70% of the time because you know, if I can predict 50% better what someone's likely to do, my marketing or sales productivity is gonna go up significantly, it, it really changes the equation. Uh, there are systems, just to kind of as a caveat, there are systems where uh, that absolute data accuracy and completeness of all different data sources is important. When you do risk management, for example, uh, when you're trying to predict that outlier who's gonna behave badly and bring your bank down, right? That's when you have to go for the big project, right? But for most CMOs and CSOs, you know, it's not that big a deal if you got one, uh, if you predicted someone's behavior incorrectly. On an average, you need to get the answer right, and you can achieve that usually following an 80-20 rule.